verse 1, that he may give rest to the land and disquiet the inhabitants of Babylon. But we know, we're just talking about both tribes, you can't be talking about ancient Babylon. There's only one of the, the, yeah. the, 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 the northern kingdoms, so the southern kingdom was only in the Babylonian captivity. Mm -hmm. right. So how are you going to talk about both? The one was in the Syrians and then went to the Americas, yeah. but then the other one was in, in Babylon. So together is when they're oppressed together here. Mm -hmm. And this uh, uh, virgin daughter of Babylon. Now I'm going to go to that 37 chapter, Ezekiel 37. Uh, I'll start at the top. It says, As the hand of the Lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord, Yahweh, and set me down in the midst of the valley, which was full of bones, <coughs> and caused uh, me to pass by them round about, and behold, there were very many in the open valley, and lo, they were very dry. And he said unto me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, O power Yahweh, thou knowest. Those bones represent the children of Israel. You know, hey, we were once those dead bones, and there's still a bunch of dead bones out there. This, and that represents, you know, Dead spiritually. Our people are spiritually dead. Ronald you know, Dalton is spiritually, spiritually dead. dead. Black 100 is spiritually dead. Charleston White is Through. spiritually dead. <laughs> okay? These guys are, because who else is standing up? These guys are done. Are we the Hebrews? The mentality they got? Desert, don't we live beautiful? Yeah. Are we in the Hebrews? Yes, yes. yes. We got those ships. Mm -hmm. The yes, first sir. ones were, oh, we're not going to talk about that, right? Mm -hmm. no, we can talk the about it. Stands, I mean, I, I could, and we could, and we're on the same page, but yeah. uh, do we have time to talk or change? I'm about to go change it. You guys, I pray to work. Got gotcha, you, bro. All right, All right. so long. All right, man. Yeah. Yeah. And we're watching, okay, guys? We're watching. That's what's up. What's up? What's what's up? up? What a blessing. Yeah. That's what's up. What a blessing. Jake, up. Jake, Jake, All Jake. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is literally what we're reading. That's the spirit how it is. Right, uh, I'm right at that point. I'm yeah, verse 4. And again, he said to me, prophesy upon these bones and say unto them, O ye dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. And thus saith the Lord power Yahweh unto these bones, Behold, I will cause breath to enter into you, and ye shall live. And I will lay sinews upon you, and I will bring up flesh upon you, and cover you with skin, and put breath in you, and ye, and ye shall live, and ye shall know that I am the Lord your house. So I prophesied as I was commanded, as I was commanded, right? and I prophesied, there was a noise, and behold, a shaking, and the bones came together, bone to his bone. Shaking, yeah, basically like a like a sifting, yeah, shaking, yeah. sifting. So this word is is is, is like when they say it's groundbreaking a, news. Yeah, the yeah. word is groundbreaking news. Yeah, and it's, it's like shaking, a, it's shaking the world and got all the Israelites assembly. It's like a agitator, like an yeah. agitator, yeah. man. Rock tumble. Got it. Got it. Yep. It says uh. <laughs> Yeah, right here, verse 8, it says, And beheld, it's like, and when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon them, and the skin covered them up above, but there was no breath in them. Mm -hmm. So a lot of Jake is, is, is getting it, and I like what he said, man. He he could have he said it in a in a in a certain way, but he didn't say it in a negative way. It sounded like he was wanted to be negative, but he didn't say anything negative. He said, Hey, we're watching. Yeah. With, with blessings. Okay, so hopefully somebody like that that may only have the sinews that know what it is, he knew what the Hebrew. Mm -hmm. He wake up and then now that faith grows in him and becomes of the elect. We hope, you know, whomever that is for that to happen, whether it's that individual or whomever. Yeah. But the elect is going to wake up. There's a lot of wake up in that 11th hour, man, when they see the power. Yeah. People getting healed and see miracles being done, oh. so on and so forth. No? Uh, but there's no breath in them right now. They don't have an understanding of this thing. Because mm -hmm. there's levels to it. And the prophets are the ones that have understanding that are supposed to administer it or, or give it out to the people. So we have a purpose. And when they're edified, then with, with, with a show of a miracle or, or, or with, with faith added to it, okay? 
mingle with faith that they, they'll, they'll one day uh, wake up as, as a full elect. All right? It says, um, yeah, verse 9, Then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy son of man, say unto the wind, Thus said the Lord power of God, uh, Come from the, the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon the, these slain, that they may live. And so, that's the breath. The breath is the breath of you know, how much you know, shot. Yeah. And it has to you know, like breathe on those bones to make them live. It, it wasn't the breath of another nation or a yeah. deity or God. It was. It had to be the breath of the Lord to for us to live. How do we become those dry bones? We just continue from our heritage, which was that breath. Yeah. That wisdom. Yeah. Wisdom. Like, yeah. yeah. When, when, when we were just dry bones, we were not. We were we were like beasts, basically. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You fall away from the covenant. You fall away from the the, the law, statutes, and commandments. You living like the other nations. You are living in a beastly uh, state mm -hmm. without understanding. You know, like when Adam, yeah, he, they, they, they were they were naked. Yeah. 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 They were exposed. Yeah, because they were like in a way of of, of, of beasts. Because they were learning, after they ate of that tree mm -hmm. of good and evil, they started to, you know, practice beastly like uh, uh, practices. Mm -hmm. Not naked, not naked, physically, right. spiritually. Spiritually. Let me ask a quick question because I, I was thinking what you were going into, and I want to ask a question before you give it away. Let me see if brothers know. You brothers know or it? You brothers can count them, but I kind of see if they know a little bit first. Um, this is what he's talking about ties into uh, Genesis in the first chapter. Talk about Adam and Eve and all that. On which day was 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 man. man created, right, on earth? And in what day? No, no, and was it the same day that the breath <laughs> got into it? It's kind of a heavy question, but you see where I'm going with it? Yeah. So when you go into it, I believe man was made on the fourth of the the fifth day, it's like the fifth day, but the sixth day didn't he get the breath. So that whole thousand years of that day, he was in that beastly state. Okay? In that dry bone state. And we're back to that dry bone state that's, without that wind. That's, that's, and, and, and that's when, you know, Adam got the, uh, that's why the Lord, had the Lord separate, yes. you know, uh, sons, sons of God. Yep. Yeah, and it's, got, yep. The, got the breath. And they got the breath. And you said right. it's a thousand years. It's a thousand years. It's, it's, it seems like it's a thousand years from the dark, dark ages. Not dark ages. Not a thousand years, but uh, we didn't have breath. No, no, we didn't have breath. Yeah, 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 yeah. We didn't. Yeah, but yeah, I know, I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. We got a precept on it. Yeah. Uh, Exodus 32 and 24. And I say unto them, Whosoever have any gold, let them break it off. So they gave it, gave it yeah. me. Then I cast it into the fire, and there came out this calf. And when Moses saw that the people were naked, for Aaron had made them naked unto their shame among their uh, enemies. Mm -hmm. So when Jake started making that, you know, idol, yep. you know, which is a beastly state, you know, that, that's when they became naked. You know? Yeah. I don't it real quick. So going back to the you know Adam and Eve story, Adam and Eve when they uh you know, ate of the tree, which is the fruit of lies, you know, funny. those other idols start worshiping those other idols, and they became naked. Yeah. You know? They also naked because they didn't they didn't have the covering of uh, the Lord either. So they were you know they were exposed, and you know they they were that allowed the other nations to to uh, take advantage of them. Yep, and you go to Luke, Luke the first chapter, said the prophets were there. No prophets were yeah. telling them, hey, what's going on? You know? You talked about the voice of God yep. in, the, in the garden. Mm -hmm. yep. Those were the prophets. Yep. Just, just, yep. Since, 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 since the world began. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I got um, 2nd Ezra 16 and 61. He made man and his heart in the midst of the body and gave him breath, life, and understanding. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I'll read it again. I'll, I'll read it again. Uh, he made man and his heart in the midst of his body. We know the heart is synonymous with the uh, your mind. And gave him breath, life, and understanding. And the breath is really the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Uh, Wisdom of Solomon. What is it? Five? Seven. Seven. Yeah. Twenty-four, twenty-five. Yeah. For wisdom is more. Twenty, twenty-five. Yeah. I'll start twenty-four. For wisdom is more moving than any motion. Mm -hmm. She passeth and goeth through all Those things by reason of her pureness. For she is the breath of the power of the Most High and a pure influence, flowing from the glory of the Almighty. Therefore, can no defiled thing fall into her. We started out right here. And that wisdom was the, was the breath yeah. of the Most High. So that wisdom was put in those sons of God of the Adamites. Okay? And it was put back into the children of Israel when they were dry bones. And that's we're in that process now. <clears throat> and that's why we see the two thirds of our people still in that beastly state. Just whatever appeases their flesh, that animalistic type energy, they still uh, locked into that. I don't hear about that. I'm, I'm trying to get this bag. And what's the bag mean? <laughs> Same thing with eating. What a bees all bees concerned about is eating mm -hmm. and being safe. Right. Uh, so satisfying, satisfying. Their, satisfying their flesh. Yep. Um that was it on that? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm back in, um, I'll read 8 again. It's, it's good. Verse 8, it says, And when I beheld, lo, the sinews and the flesh came upon him, upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. There was no wisdom in them, right? Uh, uh, then said he unto me, Prophesy unto the wind, prophesy, son of man, and say to the wind, Thus saith the Lord Power, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these things that they may live. It said the, the breath of life, in, in Genesis the second chapter, it said the breath of life entered into, into man and he became a living soul. Right? It says, uh, uh, so I prophesied as he commanded. Yeah, real quick, I got a, I got a got quick it. one, real quick. Got it. This is uh, the book of John, chapter 5, and verse uh, 24. It says, verily, this is Yahweh Shai speaking, yep. verily, verily, truly, truly, I say unto you, he that heareth my word and believeth on him that sent me have everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation, but is passed from death unto life. Verily, mm -hmm. verily, verily, yep. 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 verily, I say unto you, the hour is coming, and now is when the dead shall hear the voice of the Son of God, and they that hear shall live. Man. Yep. Yep. The word, man, it, it, it brought us back to life. Yeah, this is the moisture, this is the breath. Quick, quicken, yeah. quicken this. Where we can be healed, right? Uh, so he said he had a quick one, real quick. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, I got it, yeah, I got it. Uh, Ephesians 5 and 14. <clears throat> Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Masiak shall give thee life. Yeah. Well, yeah. And we're not physically dead. We're just spiritually dead. Mm -hmm. uh, what was the one that says in the Jew? Um, I'll bring you to a river. Yeah. Unless you want to do anything. So he wants to move. Because the breath was in us as the sons of God, but two thirds of us fell away and just became dry bones. What's the word educate? It means to draw it in. So we had to be, we're being re educated, you know, to. to it's talking to the left hand re education on uh, Kyrie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they, they got that nigga, man. Um, yeah, they got it. They got it. You know, I don't know what you, what the conversation was, but he submitted, man. That much. Nigga should have just stayed in his lane, man. He's not he a prophet. Retired, yeah, he should have retired. Yeah. He knew they were going. They still going. He's still on the list. They, on the yeah, they, they re, re educated him on the left hand. Yeah, but we got to re educate our people on the right hand so they can have that breath, so they can, you know, it, we can draw. You know what what was in them, the spirit, and you know, out, yeah. you know they could be alive. Right. 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 Shit, you, you brothers, I mean, think about the time when we were dead. 
Yeah. Man, you know, I don't, I don't even want to look 